Would you believe this is in San Francisco? This bronze Buddha was cast in 1799 in Tajima, or Tajima, Japan. Japanese tea garden and Japanese tea house were started in 1894 for the exhibition. The exhibition was the World's Fair. Today, the Japanese tea garden in San Francisco is recognized as the oldest public Japanese garden in all of the United States. And who started it? Well, it was an affluent Japanese landscape designer named Makoto Hagiwara. He wanted to transform the temporary World's Fair exhibit into a permanent fixture of the Golden Gate Park. And between 1895 and 1942, Hagiwara and his family resided, cared for and developed the Japanese tea garden until World War II struck and the family was forced from their home and they were sent to a concentration camp with other Japanese Americans. The garden was then renamed Tea Oriental Garden and during the wartime many of the beautiful arrangements were destroyed or removed or stolen. What, what happened it's difficult to describe. In 1952 the garden was officially renamed back to the Japanese tea garden once more and uh, maybe about 10 years ago uh, the Japanese management came back uh, to manage the garden. Save our pagoda. This pagoda was built as a temporary indoor display for the Panama Pacific International Exposition of 1915. That was over 100 years ago. You can help. There is a five-tiered uh, Buddhist shrine that's being repaired. It was built in uh, 1915, something like that, for the Panama Pacific Exposition. Buddhism is one of the major religions in Japan, but there was also a Shinto shrine in the garden. And due to local anti-Japanese sentiment during the World War II, which led to the relocation of Japanese Americans. The Shinto shrine was demolished and the Buddhist pagoda replaced the open space. And it's a, a little bit, according to some people, um, stra strange in a religious context because it is within an area bounded by traditional Shinto picket fence. So. Here we have it. The garden itself is beautiful and has many things that were imported, plants, um, some religious objects and uh, even I think some animals or birds were imported over the years from Japan. For example, the peculiar looking bridge is so-called drum bridge, taikobashi in Japanese, and it's it's a highly arched bridge found in Japanese and Chinese guard. It is named uh, like this because when I reflect it on the water, the full circle shape it creates resembles a drum. The trees of the Japanese tea garden have more than a century long history. The garden consists of a variety of trees including flowering cherry trees, azaleas, magnolias, camellias, Japanese maples, pines, cypresses and so on. The dwarf trees were planted by the Hagiwara family in the years following the exposition of 1894. The Japanese tea garden in San Francisco was also, oddly enough, the first place in the world to sell fortune cookies as we know them. Although something similar had been sold in Japan many years ago and was probably the inspiration. 
Mr. Hagewara introduced the U.S. to fortune cookies around 1900, serving them in the tea house, and they eventually spread to Chinese restaurants in San Francisco, then all over the world. And they still serve them here, probably the only Japanese establishment in the U.S. that does that. The origin of fortune cookies was officially disputed. In 1983, the San Francisco Court of Historical Review actually had a hearing on this issue and the Tea Garden version won. The other claimant was a Chinese business, the Hong Kong Noodle Company in LA. So if you liked the video, um, I'm happy and uh, take care. See you next time. Goodbye.